A proposed law making its way through the legislature could lead to some motorcyclists riding without a helmet. But as KTV South Bay reporter Jesse Gary tells us, some say this action in defense of religious freedom poses a safety risk. For over three decades, California has required motorcyclists to wear protective helmets when on the roads. But one group of Golden State riders seeks an exemption to the law. It'll allow us to ride, which is one of our passions, while fully expressing our religious identity, which is the turban and the beard. Dr. A.J. Benny Wall is a practicing Sikh and motorcycle enthusiast. He says it's impossible to wear a turban and long beard and comply with the helmet requirement. Sick riders love riding motorcycles. It's something that's been tied to our culture from um, back from back home. So it's something that you know we all want to hinder. We don't want any hindrance to be able to ride while fully expressing our religion. Thank you, uh, thank you, Mr. President. Members, this is Wednesday. State Senator Brian Daly passed a bill through the upper chamber that would create an exception for religious groups such as six. Specifically, SB 847 would exempt a person who wears a turban or patka as an expression of the person's religious belief and practice when riding a motorcycle. There are uh, a lot of religious exemptions uh, in California and across the country. This will be uh, leading the way in the nation. And there's no um, headgear that to, or helmet uh, that works with their turban. So that's really the basis um, and religious freedoms. Some transportation experts worry dropping the helmet requirement for any group could lead to more fatal motorcycle accidents. Half of U.S. states have helmet laws. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, use of a helmet reduces the risk of a fatal motorcycle accident by 37 percent. And non-helmet riders are nine times more likely to die in a wreck than those wearing a helmet. This is not a collision of constitutional rights. Professor Margaret Russell is a constitutional law expert at Santa Clara University. No one's religious belief is inconsistent with them wearing a helmet. The argument is really, I should be allowed not to wear a helmet because I can't fit a helmet easily. Who is going to examine that? to make sure that it's it's accurate. That's very problematic. Senator Daly concedes clearing the Senate's threshold was just one hurdle with many more to come. I think we might have to amend the bill some. Backers have until the end of the current legislative session to get this bill through the assembly. We will find other supporters um, to help us back it. In the South Bay Bureau, Jesse Gary, KTVU Fox 2 News.